it's so disappointing is what it is. It's not the worst game ever. I've played far worse than Sonic. I have played far worse in Sonic and non-Sonic games. Overall, it's just a really mediocre game that just exists. It exists and it's going to be forgotten about once something better pops up. The only reason it's probably ever going to be remembered in some fashion is because of two things. OC jokes, which, you know, you know, and it's Sonic. That's it. Sonic Forces is just mediocre. It's not as bad as 06. You could do a hell of a lot worse, but you could do a hell of a lot better. And I am very disappointed in Sonic Team because Sonic Team, there was a point where I thought they cared about Sonic. Even after 06, because we got Unleashed. Unleashed had tons of ambition and effort put into it. I Sure, I hate the Werehog. And yeah, there are moments where Sonic Team can be too ambitious for their own good. But I, I appreciate that honesty and ambition. I felt like it was, a, it, it was an earnest effort to make Sonic great again. And for a while, they were succeeding. We got colors, generations. Hell, I even liked Lost World. You know, I felt there was effort placed into that game. Maybe it was misplaced effort, but still effort. It was still earnest. It felt like they really were wanting to make this game. I don't know if it's just them f fed up with the fan base or if it's just them because they just gave up. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's time we get a new development studio. Maybe a lot of the big guys at Generations... You know, I know some of the people from Generations worked on Mario and Sonic, apparently. Which, why? Why? Why, why are they working on, on Mario and Sonic and not a main game? When they have proven they are good workers, is it so that you don't have to... Is it so you don't have to pay them as much? Which is really shitty, by the way. Like, why are they working on uh, Mario and Sonic? Get them on a main series Sonic game. And for those who were fired or laid off, maybe it's time to hire some new staff for Sonic Team. Maybe we can get another adventure game finally. Maybe it's time to go back to what Sonic... Because even though I love the boost game, I, I love the boost formula. Generations is my favorite game, but I do prefer the adventure formula overall because I felt there's more... There could be more possibilities with it. The boost style reached its peak in Generations. That was its peak. There are still some things you could do with it, but the boost formula does... I think it, it reached near perfection in Generations. Adventure has never really had that perfection. They, you know, Adventure 2 came close at times, but... There, you know, they never really reached its full potential because after Adventure 2, they were building off of what worked in Adventure 1 with Adventure 2, and that was fine. It worked fine, at least in my opinion. Some people say it didn't, but that's what the intention was, and I thought it did it decently well. You know, they took what worked in Adventure and you know tried to make it better. It did. It, they tried to make what what they had in it from Adventure 1 better. It does what it does to the best of its ability, and I thought they did that fine. But then they went in this weird direction with Heroes and Shadow. A bunch of development things happened where the Dreamcast died. Sega was in a really bad place. Unfortunately, probably money was tight because they lost a lot of money due to the Dreamcast dying, essentially. And not to mention, you know, they had to make an entirely new engine for PS2 because, you know, they, they Sony essentially boycotted them because they said, if you're not going to release a Sonic game on our console then we're not going to let you work on any Sonic games for the PS2. Which, obviously, Sega didn't want because, you know, PS2 was the highest selling console. you got to make that money off of them. So, what they did was they made a new engine that was completely rushed and wasn't ready, and they made it for Heroes, and that's why it turned out so slippery. Then they did it for Shadow. Then they worked on the new Sonic 06. That turned out to be a disaster piece. And then they made Unleashed, you know? They made Unleashed. They got back up said, okay, we really got to pay attention, let Sonic Team do what they need to, do what they want to, give them that new passion and ambition, there's a new team with them, so, with some people, there's these new people working with Sonic Team to make a decent product, and while Unleashed certainly had its problems, I felt like for once, Sonic Team actually gave a shit again. And then afterwards, you know, we got Colors and Generations, and you know, that was a whole new era of Sonic. Maybe it's time to go back to the old era, before even Heroes and Shadow, because that was when, even though they are, they're essentially adventure games. They play like adventure, even if they don't control like adventure, they play like adventure. They still do adventure-esque things. 
you can still pick up objects in shadow you can still you know do the spin dash in shadow you can still homing attack like you do in heroes and shadow it works like a shadow is essentially a sonic adventure game with guns that's all it is heroes is a bit more complicated but it's essentially a Sonic Adventure games where you have two buddies that you can play as with different gameplay styles. And even then, they're, they're not radically different. Maybe it's time to go back to the adventure formula because with, with the boost gameplay, maybe they're just, they don't have any more ideas for it. To be fair, the boost is a fairly shallow concept, but you can make it interesting with the level design, I think. Because Generations isn't shallow to me. And that's because of the level design. I can say the same thing for a lot of parts in Colors, and even a lot of parts in Unleashed. Going back to some of the levels in Unleashed, there are a lot more pathways than you would think in Unleashed. But it does make it very shallow in some way. Adventure, I feel, has is a better formula for Sonic, and I think they've been so scared to go back to it because they're afraid that it's just going to look like Sonic 06. But I can assure you, if they make it right, if you make it good, y you can avoid that scrutiny that Sonic 06 had, if you just try and put effort into something. Sonic Forces is proof that Sonic Team either doesn't care or Sega doesn't care to give them enough money and give them a chance. And it really is quite a shame. They should not be treating their mascot, their mascot this way. At least we have Mania. I mean, I mean, you know, Christian Whitehead is gonna be sticking around. So, you know, at least we know the 2D games will be decent. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, if they don't screw those over. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'll make an update whenever I can on the DLC, see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out well, that sucks, but if it does, yay? Game, because I really wanted to enjoy, enjoy another boost game, because the previous ones were so good, and this one just so, it's just so meh. But that's all for me. I'm the Seaman235, signing out. See you later.